Brianna is with us in Arizona. Hi, Brianna. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. It's great to speak with you. You too. What's up? Um, so I started listening to you back around um, September, October time, and I've been on fire since. Um, I'm engaged, and I'll be getting married in about four months. Way to go. Um, and Thank you. And I've had kind of a hard time um, you know, getting him on board for when we are married and we should get the ball rolling. He um, has a lot more debt than I am, and he's an accountant. So I think um, that might be where my challenge comes in. I tried bringing you up in October, and it didn't go well. Um, he mentioned he felt that, uh, I guess I was um, like an undermining his knowledge of finance. Mm-hmm. In a sense, mm-hmm. and um, so how so old is he? I kept. He's twenty five, and I'm twenty six. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how much pre marriage counseling did you do? None. None yet. You I've need been some. Looking into places. You need some. You need to okay. get. In, you need to get in touch with your church immediately, or your friend's church immediately, and have someone counsel you guys in pre marriage counseling. This is not a financial issue. Um, your husband-to-be does not respect your opinion. That's not good. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And l- let me add to it, okay? The number one okay. cause of divorce in North America today is money fights and money problems. You are going into your marriage disagreeing about the area that causes the most divorces. Danger, danger. Danger. Does this mean put off the marriage? No, but it does mean get this solved. It is vital that the two of you get on the same page. It, you know, my, my youngest child is 28 and married two years ago. Okay. So if you were one of them, if either one of you were my child, I would be up in your grill, not because I'm Dave Ramsey, but because this is such a vital area of you having a high quality relationship. Regardless of Dave Ramsey or what you heard from me or him not believing in me, that's not the point. The point is he didn't. he's unwilling to listen to you, and you're not in agreement on debt, and he's an accountant who's deeply in debt. That's weird. He's a mechanic <laughs> whose car is broken. Yeah. That's weird. And, and he's insecure about it and unwilling to talk to you about it. And you undermined his authority. He's 25. He doesn't have authority. He has an accounting degree. So now that's a dad talking. Did you hear me? <laughs> that's, your, that's your old Uncle Dave telling you the way life is. So it's not about, it's not about whether you follow my plan or not, okay? I, I'm really want you guys to do the pre-marriage work that you need to do and get on the same page on this money issue because and it's just vital that you do because you're going to struggle in your relationship and you're going to struggle in your uh, uh, finances unless you can get on the same page and stay aligned uh, okay, I, I just so I have um I'm sorry one one more quick question sure. so today he actually um, texted me which is why I called about wanting to buy a house next year, which obviously we're not ready for. Right. Um, so that's why I called because I figured it could be a good like segue into getting on the same page and, yeah. you know, finding out why. Mm-hmm. Um, but anytime I bring up a budget, he kind of goes back on like, oh, budgets are unrealistic and, mm-hmm. you know. And he knows a lot because he has, no, has nothing but debt. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, see, you guys have got, you, you really have some issues here that you're going to have to get solved. I, I just see all kinds of danger. And I, I don't want anything but good things for you and for him. But um, y- you guys are already having major stress points and arguments over the number one cause of divorce. That is a very big deal. And so, you really, really, really need to do the work to get that solved. Please. Please do not marry this guy unless you can get on the same page. I think you can do the work and get on the same page, but he's being an arrogant little twit right now, and um, he he really is. And, and you know, 
he's unwilling to listen to you. He's got all the answers. And um, uh, the problem is I know this guy. I used to be him. And, uh, and life will knock him down until he quits being that guy. Uh, so that that's, yeah, please, 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 let's get past this. And the two of you sit down together and get some pre-marriage counseling. And that's, you know, please don't get married unless you can get on the same page. You're going to, he's going to, he's going to treat you this way on other issues. See, every time you bring something up, he rolls his eyes and goes, you're not smart. That's what I'm hearing. And that's not going to be okay. That's not going to work. Catherine is uh, going to be up after the break. Uh, this is the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you for joining us, America. If the number one cause of divorce in America today were anything, you would make sure that item, if you filled in the blank on that and you were engaged, you would make sure that item were handled. If the number one way you die is a certain thing, you would avoid that thing, right? Because you don't want to die. This is not, I mean, this, this is simple. So you really do have to look at this stuff and, and realize that you're not the exception to this. All of us are not the exception to this. The borrower is slave to the lender. You're not the exception. I'm not the exception. 